Okay, what we're going to do is to test if your webcam really is broken or if it's just a driver or Adobe's not installed. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to www.testwebcam.com, uh, which is a free website. It'll automatically test your webcam to see if it's showing an image or not. You know, it might be just something with a program with Facebook or Skype or something like that. So we want to make sure. As you can see on here, uh, we need to install Adobe. So you want to go ahead and install Adobe if that error does show up, and then restart your computer. Um, so we're first going to do that, and then from there you might get an error um, that states no webcam found, which I'll show you here in a second. If you if it says no webcam found, then that might be an indication that your webcam is broken. Um, normally that's what it is so I'm using two different browsers the first one I used was Mozilla Firefox a lot of times Google Chrome will not work um, so try Internet Explorer if you do have Internet Explorer installed sometimes those will have the drivers that you need and so there's the error so next thing you want to do is go into your device manager to see if there's an actual driver and if that driver for your webcam is installed um, to do that you just go to the search menu on the, the bottom when you go in the start menu type in uh, device manager and then it's going to show you um, a, a, a little row that shows all the drivers for audio video all that stuff what you want to do is look for your webcam driver and with a webcam driver um, look and see if it is activated um, or if it's just not installed if that's the case, if you're online, you could right click it and then click on update my computer. And then from there, it might just update it and then install it. This might happen if you recently installed Windows 10 over 8 or 7, which is a free upgrade. And that a lot of people are reporting that their webcam's being um, uninstalled. If that's the case, your webcam's definitely not broken you just need to make sure you install the right driver okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go to uh, your manufacturers direct website let's say if you installed uh, Windows 10 you did an upgrade from Windows 8 or Windows 7 and all of a sudden now you realize that your Windows um, or rather your webcams not working you could just direct go directly to the website now I'm going to go to HP's website let's say to install a sleep book uh, webcam driver but again, this will work with Lenovo, Sony, Dell, um, all the manufacturers, Alienware, uh, Toshiba. So let's go ahead and let's say we'll go and we'll type in HP Sleek Book 14 driver. And it's going to usually be the first one that comes up. And sure enough, this is HP's website. Um, it makes sure that you're going to their direct website, whether that be Dell or Lenovo and that one you can just browse through the products you know you just go to their site and go to drivers so for this one let's say I installed Windows 8 from Windows 7 what I'm going to do is choose drivers software and drivers and from there I will put that in there and we'll do Windows 10 because that was the new install that I just did we'll go update and we will look for webcam that's the keyboard mouse input
here we go cyberlink ucam software that's it that's the that's the webcam so what I'll do is I'll just click download here usually takes about five minutes install it restart it and that should that should do it all right